going on everybody it's our mic and it is a nice cool i want to say it's like 16 degrees out right now on a monday evening let's look and see smokers running right now which is good go over temperature yeah 16 degrees in the springs right now let's open it up and refresh to make sure oh maybe we dropped a group degree 15 degrees feels like 10. So, as you all can tell here, this is a smoker video. It is technology, not the normal tech I go over, but um, yeah, I'm about to make some dinner here. Obviously, my smoker temperature here is around 223, which is good. Would prefer uh, a little higher, 224. But it's going to dip for a second because I'm about to take the cover off and we're going to fill this water here so give me a second all right so the main reason we are talking smoker temperatures and smoker in general for technology today is because smokers have become quite advanced they're bluetooth enabled you can get these in a wi-fi enabled if you want to as well which i think is awesome um, mine is bluetooth enabled and mine is a master built. And I need to check my, see if I have chips in there. But there's my logo. Mine's a master built. And master built, I want you guys to make a Wi Fi enabled model now, or at least make it to where we can pull the board. Um, as we can see on mine here, it is showing us master built, Bluetooth, and we can actually do, you can see my screen there, time that's left, temperature. Uh, light, meat probe, all that stuff. Um, you can actually replace one of my co-workers actually had to pull his bottom pan and on the bottom side is where the board is for this motherboard wise and you can actually pull that. On that motherboard I like to see Master Build add a Bluetooth Wi-Fi chip instead of just a Bluetooth chip. I think that would be awesome. So let me add some wood. Alright so I have my wood tray out and then in these cabinets here is where I keep all my supplies both for grilling smoking and then wood and stuff is in this one plus a few other things i wanted to mention for this video one good thing to have this is a welder's blanket and this is what i'm going to use to wrap the smoker in that works perfect for low temperature smoking like we're doing today and then i have all my types of wood chips here as you guys can all see so let me find out what the wife wants on her pork chop tonight and we'll come right back all right, so out of my smorgasbord of flavors, the wife decided on cherry. So this is what we shall use. We will fill this sucker up. And this has had enough time to cool down now. This container's cool to the touch. Let's go ahead and throw this back in. Start our pre-smoking. But yes, being that this is a piece of technology plus a smoker for making great food in a, what is it, a central heating type of, well, not central heating, what do they call it, Incondu incandescent, inconductive heating. So it is a good method for food, making all kinds of good stuff. Um, yeah, I really like to see Master Built. I'd like to see you guys make a Wi-Fi model, or at least if people can upgrade, do a chip to where we can update this. So, now that you guys have seen that, and I have made my plea to master build, it's time to wrap this sucker up, let it get back up to temperature, and then I will throw in the food. So I shall let you guys see this blanket here. And I'll put us there, and I'll get that sucker out, and you guys can watch.
All right, so within about five minutes, my smoker is almost at temp already, which is good. So target temp is one or two twenty-five, and I did have it up at its target temperature faster because I did have the vent closed, but that is letting that wood burn a little quicker. So we're going to shut that up for now, and that will still allow some of the smoke to come out, but if we look back at my phone now, our target temperature should go up a little quicker now. We should go up to 225 within a few minutes here. So since we're close to target temperature, I'm going to go on ahead and throw the meat in. And then we will check our wood chips and see what we need. So tonight we are smoking some pork chops. All right, pork chop bag is empty. Pork chops are in. And let's check on our wood. Let's see how we're doing here. We'll pull that out and look on in there. We should be able to see. Maybe not, maybe not too much. That wood should be burning in there. I should see some coloring, but might be time to add in some more already. So we'll go grab my wood and we shall add in some more. All right, so we got some smoke starting to bellow again. I haven't even added in any more wood chips yet. Let's check it and see. Let's look one more time. Yeah. Might be able to make out some color in there. Might just be the heating elements warming up. So let's go on ahead and add in some more. Alright, so we have our wood ready. Put the puppy in place just to show y'all. Slide her on in. Turn her handle, drop it, flip her back if she's not too full. There we go. And we should start getting some more smoke. No problem. Start seeing a good amount of smoke come out of there. There we go. Might even see some color to that smoke. So like I said, using one of these welder blankets will help you keep temperature really well. And we'll go inside and watch the sucker smoke and we'll see if we get some color. Alright, so as you can see, you can actually pick up some of the coloring from the wood showing coming out of the stack. So just to show. And then as for temperature, right now, the smoker is at... 20 or 221 so we're getting to point once it gets to 225 and we'll go on ahead and set our timer for the proper time it needs to fully cook and go over a screen and see the meat probe temperature so all right so we are at proper smoking temperature our meat is pretty much good Meat probe says 131, 132. Uh, 135 would be your safe enough temperature to pull off these uh, pork chops. Should be like 140 would be, or 145 would be good for pork chops. But we're pulling them in the 130 range because I'm going to move them to the uh, grill. And we are going to reverse sear them, which means they're internally getting cooked by the smoker and smoked. And then we move over here. And inside my grill here, this is my little baby grill, so you can see it's running. And inside of it, we have it going with a nice wood, or not wood, wood handle, but a cast iron skillet, which you probably can't make out too well, but it's there. And uh, we will be throwing the pork chops into that. So, first thing we're going to do is undress our smoker. We'll take our clips off, at least the top two, and 
this one on the back. So that way I'm not losing that blanket entirely. So those are hooked. And then either from the smoker itself or from the app, we can actually turn our light on. So turn on our light. And now our light is on. And that will last for like 20 seconds. So once I open that door, we can see everything in there. I'm going ahead and pull out a meat glove. With my meat glove here, we'll be able to grab the meat fresh and hot and throw it onto the, uh, I'll turn that back off for now. We'll throw it onto the grill. So before we pull those, we'll need some butter. And this is the good Irish butter. It's going to go on, start warming up. Alright, now it is time to turn on our light and put on our glove. can see and there is our meat all nice and done so we will pull two first pull our top one here Second one. And we shall just sear two at a time for now. And as for the rest of the meat that is in the smoker, we will let it sit. Shut that puppy back up. And we will actually kill our temperature and we can either kill it from we'll just kill it from here power off and she is off so even with it off we should still be able to well we actually can turn back to the on position once we get focus turn back on and we can see where the meat probe is on those other two pieces and the temperature will start dropping all right so that is reverse or that is smoked pork chop reverse seared. So in other words, done in a cast iron skillet over an open flame. And this is mine. I say always doing mine for last, but on the back side, our smoke line or our grill lines, what well, would have been a grill line coming from the smoker, but yeah, turned out good at temperature. And that'll be it. If you guys have any smoking tips or any other methods for smoking in cold weather, like I showed you with the uh, with the uh, welder's blanket, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and thanks for checking out my channel.